At an age when most folks retire, Betty Sayers became a beekeeper. There. Yet it could be that I was never a good bridge player and never learned to play golf, so who knows? It calms the bees. You know what you can do? What's that? Mister, you can just keep pumping them. Okay. I'm useful. What were you out here doing today? I was just checking to see how they are coming with their honey production. There's liquid in there. When you see this real light wax, they make that, they cover it. And they're waiting till the water evaporates out of the honey to get it just the consistency they want. But all these cells are filled. You can see they're glistening. Bees are kind of like family to you, aren't they? Yeah, they are. I, I pay as much attention to them. I, I'm always learning, I'm reading, and talking to beekeepers. Learning and trying new things. For a few decades, she was a teacher and grant writer. She launched an online magazine showcasing rural entrepreneurs and became one. Influenced by stories, she was telling about people creating things. To see the sacrifice that people will make to just do stuff that they want to do was inspiring to me. About the same time, Betty made a bucket list. And as I looked at that, the very top thing was beekeeping. You're allergic to bees? I am. I had a terrible experience. If I'm making a bucket list of things I want to do, probably <laughs> the thing at the top is not something that's going to make this me horribly kill sick. Me, kill yeah. me, yeah, that's exactly right. But you did that. Mm -hmm. In spite of that, Betty loves bees. That is pollen that is packed in its legs and it wants, it's looking for someone to unload it. It has to get in the hive to do that. See that, it's so fun. I love to watch them. She's intrigued by their society and the role of the queens and appreciates how hard they work to make honey, but what to do with it. I just thought it's not fun giving it away. It's all right, but the bees work so hard to make it and I should be able to come up with something. Buzz Savories was the answer. It's honey and candles, but the main product is two kinds of honey mustard Betty worked hard to perfect. The first one partnering with a local brewery to make a spicy beer mustard. How many different iterations did you go through till you got something that was oh, like, this I, is good? I would say there would have been 50. That? Okay. I asked Betty to show us how you make honey mustard. Then she put me to work. I truly love my cart. I wouldn't say that about many things. I truly love it. All right, what are we doing first? The bucket gets filled with water and you pour it in the skillet. This looks like a lot of work. Well, it is. <laughs> Betty found something I can handle. And another. Another? <laughs> what? <laughs> Inside here are yellow mustard seeds, brown mustard seeds, old creamery stout, and cider vinegar. This is the salt, turmeric, allspice. This is mustard powder. And finally. The very precious and very unique, lovely honey. Made by all those hardworking yes, bees. Yes, yes. It's a big mixer. Sloppy stuff, isn't it? It is, and it has to be carefully done because if it isn't, the jars explode. I think you're kind of like a machine. I do sometimes feel that way. I wish I were more like a machine. Fun fact about bees, the females who do all the work have little tolerance for drones, the males who don't help out which had me a little concerned. I usually make eight gallons at a time, maybe once every three weeks or maybe just once a month. So where'd the name Buzz Savories come from? The buzz is, the, is like the honey mm -hmm. part, and then the savories is the beer and the mustard. So what do you like best about having this business? I think it is that it's never finished. It's always the next thing. It's a challenge every day. Where do you get all the energy to do this? I don't know, it's just, just getting up and doing. So what do you think? Do I, do I have a job? You do. You can, you can be, you're just like a machine. <laughs> so um, remember, just wait till I point? Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, 
Betty's a TikTok star. Betty Sayers here at Buzz Savories. Today we are making a luscious, simple, delicious chicken salad. Her marketing includes TikTok videos made with help from her daughter. Yes. Now remember we start with a local honey. It's very important. This honey flavors the dressing. And okay, now I'm just going to smash, 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 smash. And I'm going to put this glaze on. And if only you were here. So she's really natural. And she has fun with them. And she's got viewers and comments from all over the world um, coming to her through her TikTok. She is one of the most creative people you will ever meet. She never ceases to amaze me. I hope I can be like her when I'm her age. Chicken salad, the best you'll ever eat. Good job. Thank you. Some of our What If stories are about entrepreneurs with an idea that will eventually make them rich. This isn't one of them. Betty isn't making millions off her Buzz Savories products, but says she's more than covering her production costs. She sells online and has products on shelves of a bunch of Nebraska stores, and that's just fine. You seem to be enjoying this a lot. Oh, I do. It is fun. It is fun, and, it, and I'm never without something new to think about. I like Tina Turner's What Does Love Have to Do With It? What Does Age Have to Do With It? Either you're living or you're not. And if you're not, then don't hang out with me, because I'm living. It's just too much fun. <laughs>